Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to another video of Triple Grace. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Past Movement Foundation. And the topic of this video is the army of the enemy, fallen angels. Brothers and sisters, if you believe that the enemy will not have his own army, then you are greatly mistaken. And you do not know your scripture. The enemy has always uh, waged battle against the sons of God. Always. Right from Genesis through Jericho and every other place that is mentioned in the Bible. And in the book of Revelation, in Revelation 12, it is clearly stated that the dragon... At the time of the birth of the man-child into the world, the return of the light of the world to the earth. At that time, the dragon will cast down. Cast down from where? From the heavens. Cast down from the heavens one-third of the stars. And these stars are angels. One sir that have sided with the dragon in heaven will be cast down onto the earth and they will form as the fallen angels the backbone of the army of Satan. So you, as part of the remnant army of New Zion, will face demonic spirits and giants as the principalities of the air, for now, the physical manifestation of them on the earth will take place mid of trumpets after the opening of the abyss. Until then, we will fight that battle on the battlefield that the Lord will take us to. We are not fighting flesh and blood, but we are fighting principalities of the air. And when you wake up in the morning with a sore body, Rest assured that you were in one of these fights and that you were victorious. Otherwise, you would not wake up in the morning. Brothers and sisters, you are called to be powerful warriors for the kingdom of God right now because darkness will cover the earth and the army of the enemy is building up a great strength to bring the spirit of strife of war, of fight, of rejection, of mockery, of everything that is evil into the world, so that nation will rise against nation. As we see it already, it has already begun. Russia, Ukraine, China, Taiwan, Iran, Israel. These are the stepping stones towards World War Three. And it will all come to pass. Everything what is written in the book of Revelation will come to pass. And all the prophecies that the Lord has given us over the last seven years, and all the revelations that he has brought forth will come to pass. The, enemy of the, ar the army of the enemy is rising in a similar way as the Father is calling his remnant army to stand up now, to rise up, and to be battle ready. Huge battles will be fought. But do not worry or do not fear. As the Lord has revealed, behind each and every warrior in the remnant army of New Zion, there will be a mighty warrior angel from the heavens standing so that we together can fight the fallen angels on the evil side. The army of the enemy will be a strong one. And as you know, the enemy, Satan, is a copycat. So he knows that the Lord is sending his warrior angels to assist the mortal warriors on earth. Therefore, he is taking down the, the angels that are on his side, the fallen angels, so that he can match the power. 
So we together with the angels are angelic power against the fallen angels, angelic power. That is an even match on the battlefield. Therefore, all that is written. It is written to warn us to stand on the right side and not to be overtaken by the spirit of evil that is coming into the world right now. Much greater than it, it was there before, but now it will be coming much greater in much more powerful ways than you have ever seen or could ever imagine. We have entered the sealed tribulation. And when you read the book of Revelation, you know what is coming. Second rider, war with a mighty sword, then uh, pestilences, uh, famine, and then pestilences, and then death and Hades, and the martyr under the altar, and then the sixth seal with the sealing of the 144,000. It has all begun. This is a moment in time of great change. Whoever does not understand and accept it will be counted unworthy, will be counted to be part of the world or the sleeping churches and then need to be rescued by the harvest workers, by the Father through his chosen vessels to bring forth the truth, the understanding that everything that is happening from now on is all planned, is all in control, that the Father is in control, that the enemy can do nothing. He only know, he knows what is going to happen because he has access to the heavens still until mid of trumpets. Therefore, he knows. Therefore, he makes a copy of this so to match and try to overcome. But he will not overcome the remnant army. Because we are all in the palm of the hand of the Father, as true sons and daughters of the Most High, as the sons of God burst forth for this moment in time, living the principles of heaven, of love, mercy and compassion, being the beacons of light in contrast to the darkness of the fallen angel in the army of, the, of Satan. The enemy is preparing, rest assured, that he will put forth a great match on the battlefield. But also know and understand that when you finish with the book of Revelation, you see that the kingdom of God will be victorious. I have no doubt, no, no fear. The Lord takes me even into the worst battle. I know we will overcome the enemy and he will flee before us. But you need to understand that the army of Satan is made up of fallen angels, one third of the stars that will come through the portal onto the earth so that the snare can spring, the snare that is described in the Gospel of Luke that will affect everyone on the face of the earth, including the remnant army of the Lord. But we will be protected because we do kingdom work. We are in the palm of the hand of the Father. We are under the commander-in-chief Jesus Christ of the remnant army of New Zion. But the world who reject all this will openly run into the snare and will be trapped there in new bondage and new slavery to that new world order that we call New Egypt, with a new Pharaoh coming up, the new Antichrist. So I made this video for you to understand that we will not be standing against a few mockers and scoffers, but that we will be standing against angels on the battlefield, fallen angels, the one third mentioned in the book of Revelation 12, chapter 12. But do not worry, because we are also supported by the good angels, the warrior angels of the Lord, so that we are an equal match and even a greater power than the fallen angels on the enemy's side. Brothers and sisters, with this understanding, I will send you into the battle now. 
battle always for the kingdom, in the spirit, in the physical, bring forth the truth, share the videos with the people who need to hear this, so that the truth will set them free, so that they can be part of the multitude closed and wide that will be ruptured into paradise at the end of seals. Be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranatha.